Don't listen to all commercial songs. Listen to songs like this. Okay. And then played me this exact song with the Nadiye. And Imai nagara marukde, unni nalai pola thodar nanjam mengi tavikide. Yenda kadal, yen vidi ilma yengi karanju pogani da. Don't go out in the sun. No, yeah, It'll get yeah. dark. So what about the dark girls? Are they ugly? Are they not good looking? So that's that's not right. Mm. ஜெனரல்ல <laughs> Generally But like happy? a traveling happy. Okay, that would be nice. So there's a song yeah. from Yerumbu. Check. One or two in the world, all are common. Papa, Karumbod, Kaka, Kuruvi, Kadaya, Kaka, Talamela, Vanu, Papa, Yara, Nanga, Kirvi, Kaka, Dalayati. ஒரு குருவி கூடும் சிறு கவிதை பாடும் அந்த களத்து மேடும் சின்ன வரப்ப தேடும் அந்த விளைஞ்ச காட்டுக்குள்ள வளைஞ்சு ஓட இந்த மனசும் ஏங்காதா உந்த ஆத்து மீனும் துள்ளி குதிச்சு போகும் மீன் குழம்பு வாசம் எங்க காத்தில் வீசும் நொடி பசிச்ச நேரம் அந்த பழைய சோறும் எங்க அமுதம் ஆகாதா மேகத்து மேல ஏறி கீரி ரா கெட்ட போலவே போவாடா அந்த காத்தோட காத்தா மாறி போவோமே எல்ல மீறி வாழாத வாழ்க்கைய வாழ்வோம் வாடா சாங் கிவ் மீ லாட் ஆஃப் ஹாப்பினஸ் இட் டஸ் இட் வாஸ் சோ பியூட்டிஃபுல் थैंक यू सो मच சோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் சேட் If I'm sad, oh? You're sad. Okay. Thadam la, there's a song called Vidhi Nadiye. Arai manam, arai manam, Moodi vidi aragave, Payum undan nalai kadin mele, Ore dirali pole na, Idal mele, a very 
lots of because song from Tadam. The Tadam was a huge hit, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So, is was there any incident like people came to you and told, "Yeah, I love that song," but they didn't know that you were you were the music director. Yeah, Anything yeah. Anything yeah. happened like that? Happened like that yeah, recently also. Recently, somebody okay. is like uh, somebody a recent friend I made is like, "See, don't listen to all commercial songs. Listen to songs like this." Okay. And then played me this exact song with the okay. Nadi uh-huh. and <laughs> said. Uh, <laughs> they didn't know that you. you I thought uh, she, I thought she was just like uh, you know messing with me that like okay. uh, fine fine oh nice is a nice <laughs> song and all that mm. and she started talking about the song more like <laughs> you know the song I listen to every day when I go to office in my car and like then I realized she didn't know okay. I'm like do you know I made this song <laughs> <laughs> like what <laughs> and then she went and checked the name for the first oh. time and then like you know I was like oh yeah it's your song okay. First of all, got so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so nice, when you're uh, when you're in a complete love mood. Love mood towards music. Yeah, I get it. So <laughs> let me. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, not exactly music, music, but generally in love with. Everything. Everything, yeah. Everything. Correct, correct. Yeah. Things in particular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Let's not going to be very specific, <laughs> but. There's a song from Pizza Three. Uh-huh. It's Minnal Kanile. So this is like that fresh love that. Uh-huh. Suddenly you meet someone and then you are in that honeymoon phase of the relationship. Mm-hmm. மயங்கி கரஞ்சு போக நீதான் உயிரை இழக்குற இந்த காதல் என் கனவில் தினமும் கலந்து போக Finally, I'm going to ask a tough one. Okay. Okay. If you're going to dedicate a song for me. Right. For you. Yeah. Okay. This will be very deep as a meaning, but it's a dedication as a song. So, no implied meanings in it. <laughs> so. <laughs> very, very because, careful there. Because it says, it says, Veer <laughs> Tune Ye and all that. Which is okay. like a very. And we are getting to my favorite song. Soulmate yeah. sort of a thing. <clears throat> Just, yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. So uh, composing for a peculiar film like this mm. where do you get inspired from because uh, if it's a commercial movie we know like right. we have seen many many B jams mm-hmm. and all that so for this kind of movie where do you get inspired from? that's the whole uh, beauty about yerumba uh, is um, you can get inspired from all around you for such films mm-hmm. because there is no such template like you said this is yeah. a very unique movie in itself mm-hmm. that you can't really refer to uh, other movies that has come out yeah, in the same exactly. genre um so this was a very different journey i had to experiment a lot to be uh, uh, collaborated with a lot of musicians around the world mm-hmm. and incorporated a lot of uh, music that is not from india Okay. So a lot of European instruments, a lot of Japanese, Chinese instruments, mm-hmm. everything is mm-hmm. a part of the score of Yerumba. Okay. And uh, even for the trailer, mm-hmm. I had uh, put this up on my uh, Instagram mm-hmm. 
so basically it was a very fun story uh, the way it was made we were just uh, sitting here in my studio um, and uh, trying to figure out something unique for the trailer me and the director mm -hmm. and suddenly inspiration struck and i called up a studio that i usually go to and i uh, booked the studio mm. uh, for 12 o'clock in the night okay. so this was happening at 10 pm and then 12 okay. pm was the recording and uh -huh. then i had no clue what i was going to do okay. but all i knew was the studio has a lot of tiny unique instruments in the recording room as okay. decor okay so i said why not make something with that <laughs> okay. so i went there with no plan in mind but uh, i had a sound in mind so i went there and then we started uh, recording all the instruments and i set a rhythm and um, finally i i even called a couple of uh, my singer friends to mm. come and jam with me in the middle of the night in the middle of the night exactly at 12 okay. o'clock and uh, it was around 4 or 5 in the morning mm. when it got done and that is the music you are listening to in the trailer now in the trailer so working with sid shri ram sir on this song how was it sid is a very uh, chilled out guy so our batik will come and uh, go into the song very deeply apdi pudichu vella eluthittu varanu like that he just goes into the song and gives his best so yeah it was a very fun experience working with him and very friendly to work with him like enna venumo adu vandu correct ah you can get it out of him okay. and then extra one theva padrappo i can even ask him mm -hmm. so nariya and the improvisation la pannar initially me he did a lot of i would love to know your opinion on the following things mm -hmm. um everybody goes through this labeling and all that but mm -hmm. uh, i want to know about your opinion on color shaming or body shaming that's a very uh, very very um, traumatizing um, habit that has been integrated into our culture at some point have and you gone through any um uh, yeah everybody does you know yeah. like uh, if you if you uh, lose weight then you're too skinny if you put on weight you're too fat uh, if you get tanned you're too dark yeah. Yeah. so uh, th that there's a different uh, you know levels of body shaming that are there but i believe that everybody has to be comfortable in their own skin and be who they are mm. as long as they're healthy yeah. which is okay mm. and uh, that's that's very important so i believe that this is a very serious um, trauma inflicting thing that people do very casually yeah. which is not very right people should be aware of the intensity of the effect on the other person okay yeah. is there any personal experience you want to share um i basically you know the, all the girls in the family go through this don't go out in the sun no, it yeah, get yeah. dark so okay. what about the dark girls are they ugly are they not good looking so that's that's not right mm -hmm. it's a, and again at least your weight you can do something about Yeah. Your color is just there forever. Yeah. I mean, this is how you are just going with fairness creams or whatever. This is not great. It's not the natural way. Mm -hmm. So you need to embrace people for what they are and, you know, not really push them to some standards that is True. set by some random person. Yeah. yeah. Your opinion on gaslighting? Gaslighting comes in various <laughs> uh, categories. <laughs> uh there are relationship gaslighting yeah. there okay is. let's talk about relationship gaslighting relationship gaslighting i have uh, realized that it also comes from a place of trauma from the other person see okay. nobody is actively gaslighting anybody that's mm -hmm. very very rare i've never seen anybody like that okay. they themselves are very um affected in some way mm -hmm. that the only way they can escape is by gaslighting the other person so if you just re really it's dig so into good. that other person okay. who mm -hmm. is gaslighting everyone else okay. you will see deeply inflicted wounds in their past or something mm -hmm. because of which they have this behavior okay. so i think if you find someone who's gaslighting probably help them with getting therapy okay. yeah That's just be kind and be yeah. kind yeah. yeah your opinion on gossips i think some people like it <laughs> <laughs> do you like gossip no no are you a gossip boy not really not really no time okay. or uh, energy That's for that i'd rather be educating myself on <laughs> something new than okay. gossiping yeah thank you so much it thank was a wonderful you. evening wonderful uh, time with you thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for having me